song. What's your name? Um, Jay. Carl Fambro has owned Frank Carr's Buffalo Wings since 2009. But now, he's working as a chef and waiter. I'm back to standing over the fryers. That's because he's dealing with a severe staff shortage, just like so many other businesses in central Georgia. He said he had to stop his food truck operation because he's too short of people. Before the pandemic, we had anywhere from 12 to 17. Now we're running at five to six. Fambro said it's due to increased unemployment benefits during the pandemic, which he says is important for the economy, but costing his business. The flip side is that it's killing businesses who are service oriented. Republican Senator Larry Walker III said it's not just restaurants, but small businesses too. It's a consistent theme I hear from them is they can't get enough help. Walker agrees the unemployment benefits have hurt the service industry. Some people are making more money staying at home than they are working. He thinks requiring those on unemployment to show they're searching for work can help the problem. You know, get everybody back to work. There's plenty of opportunities out there. For now, Fambro is using digital phone orders to fill the lack of wait staff. I can just keep working on orders and not have to come out and take so much money. He doesn't think they'll ever have 17 employees again, but thinks next year they'll have enough to bring back the food truck. And that's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I'm saying just go by. In Macon, Caitlin Sabater, 13 WMAZ News.